Hi friends, welcome back to the big joy of learning with Vijay ji. Have you heard about the concept of inbox zero? Inbox zero is a concept developed by some productivity experts where you take action on every email that you get in your inbox either manually or automatically. You need to analyze and make some small decisions about what you are going to do to those messages. Delete, delegate, defer or do the action required within a stipulated time so they recommended opening the email only when you get time to do this and not to keep it open always which might disturb your other activities as well inbox zero is not really about cleaning your entire inbox to make it to zero emails the main goal must be speeding your responsiveness so that you can focus on other more critical activities at work and can be more productive inbox zero is not 100% achievable all the time using some tools effectively will surely help us to maintain a clean mail inbox here we will be discussing a few such google tools which can help you to organize your google inbox better as we saw in the last session Setting the right type of inbox type always gives us a better control on emails when the relevant emails are displayed with priority. Continuing with the topic on organizing Google Mail inbox, we will first see how to star the emails. The easiest and simplest way of marking emails is by starring them. To star an email from your inbox, Click on the white star on the left side of the email to be starred. If the email is open, the star is available on the top right corner of the email. If you select the emails, the option to select star is available on the more option in the menu that appears on the top of the inbox. Once starred, these emails will be available in the starred mails menu. Since only starred emails are listed here, searching mails will be easier here. By default, only the yellow star will be available. Options for adding stars are available in all settings, general tab, stars. Here, you will see option to activate one star, four stars or all stars as listed. Once activated and saved, you can keep clicking on the stars to select among the different type of stars to be marked. Now, you must be wondering how these different type of stars will help the user other than with the colors they display. If you have noticed, there are different names given for each type of star. You can use these names in the search to list the emails with those particular stars alone. You can use shortcuts in the search to find starred messages by searching is starred or has with the star's name like has yellow bank. When you have to categorize the emails into several categories and want to identify these categories with particular names, just storing the emails might not serve the purpose. For this, Google Mail has something called as labels. Labels mark the emails with a label name at the left side of the email listing in the mailbox and shows the label on the top of the email when it is opened. As for the start emails, we can also search the emails with these labels. One email can be marked with multiple labels in case the mail falls in multiple categories. To create a label, just click on the plus icon on the top of the list of labels listing in the main menu. You can also create labels by selecting the email and clicking the labels icon that appear on the top of the inbox. Click on create new label to create new labels. Here we can edit or delete labels as well. Don't worry, deleting labels will not delete your email. We can also change labels here. To change a label, 
just uncheck the current label that is to be changed and check the one that is required and click apply. You can apply labels to emails when you write a new email also. For this, just click on more menu from the compost window, click the label icon and check the label which needs to be applied. Labels in Google Mail also work similar to folders in other email applications. When an email is assigned a label, the email actually doesn't move anywhere. It stays in the main inbox but also becomes accessible from the newly created label. We can move particular emails into these labels from the inbox so that the labeled email is not shown in the inbox. To move the email from the inbox to only show in the label, just select the emails to be moved and click on move button on top of the inbox. Select the label name to which the mail has to be moved. Now email disappears from the inbox and is only shown in the label. Please remember that Google Mail does not make copy of emails when you label it. So, if you delete the email from the label, it will vanish from the mailbox as well. You can apply filters to the email to automatically label your emails. For this, click on the search bar on top of the emails, enter the keyword to filter the email, click on show search options and enter the details with which you need to filter your email. It can be a from address, to email address, size of the mail, subject of the mail, etc. Now click on create filter. Another window opens where you have to enter the details of what to be done with the email matching the search criteria. Here you can instruct Gmail to skip the mail from inbox and automatically archive, automatically mark such mails as read, star it, apply labels, category the emails, etc. At the last of the menu, it will list the number of emails which are already matching the search criteria. Click on create filter and you are good to go. The filter will automatically get applied to all the emails matching the criteria. Now I have sent an email from the email address I had marked in the filter. You can see that the mail is not seen in the inbox. Google has applied the label personal for the email and directly moved it to the respective folder. This is Bijoy signing off for now. We will catch up with some helpful interesting topics in our next session soon. If you feel the content of the video is useful to you, please do not forget to like, comment and share it with your friends and family. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do it now and press on the bell icon to get notified on new releases. Thank you for your time and have a big joy of learning.